Some days ago an idea popped up in my head. I make these trading videos where I trade for one week and see how much profit I can make and also show you guys the ups and downs in the adventures of a CSGO trader. And I really enjoy making these and they are a very good example of what is possible in CSGO trading with a big inventory and a lot of experience. But they have two big flaws when it comes to the question of how much profit is possible. The first flaw, until now I didn't include cash deals into these videos. All trades that you can see in my previous episodes were just item for item trades. And these deals take up the majority in the amounts of trades, but in the terms of profit and total value, the cash deals are more important. That's why they will be featured in the next episodes. And the second flaw, as I work full time, create videos and content around 10 hours a week and have such time consuming and boring things like an apartment, a girlfriend and hobbies to take care of, there is still space for some improvement in the profit we could make. Because as a big trader and small YouTuber, I do not have to offer that much myself. This is very good for me, as it saves me a lot of time, but also I probably miss out on a lot of good deals. So I thought it would be a cool experiment to just try that and trade a full day, so 25 hours non-stop, of course I will go to sleep within that time, and see what deals we can find and especially how much profit we can make. So welcome to 25 hours of trading non-stop. This week's giveaway is a little bit of a special one. This week you can't only win one skin, you can win three skins in total. I am giving away three AK slates. One is Statrek Minimal Wear with four Furia Stockholm stickers. One is field tested and one is just well worn. The rules are pretty simple. Just like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment that you entered down below and send me a trade for one of these AK slates. You're not allowed to send a trade offer for more than one, so decide wisely. Probably most people will go for the most expensive one, but you can go for the lower ones to increase your chances. The winner will be live drawn on my Twitch stream every Friday at 17 CET, so be sure to follow there. Also, a special shout out to all my Patreons. If you're looking for individual advice, price checks and tips from a scene professional CSGO trader, I can really recommend you joining my Patreon. Thanks! So, it is the 7th of May 2022 and it is Saturday and it is shortly before 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock we will start our journey and trade for 25 hours non-stop. And every deal that is profit, we will go over that and in the end see how much we made within 24 hours of active CSGO trading. The rules are pretty simple, I can do trades with bot trading sites, I can do trades on other sites, I can do cash trades, I can buy and sell, I can try to snipe off items of marketplaces, I can try to, to buy items cheap from people, I can try to sell them on, for a good price too. And of course I can do item for item trading, like you know from my stream or especially from my trading videos. So we get a countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Zwei, eins, let's go, it's 10 o'clock, so from now on 25 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours to trade and see how much profit we make. So, let's go. So our first deal of today comes from Grecken and tonight he sent us an offer for our flip knife Doppler and the Glock Vogue and he's offering his StatTrack M9 freehanded field tested condition. It is a 0.18 float, so really good and this deal summed up for around $13 of profit and a good way to start our 24 hours. 
Then I went to some trading sites and did some really time consuming calculations. I compared all of my items on all sides and see on which side I could get the most out of my money. And then I see if I can even get some profit in the end. And I ended up on this site and I ended up trading all of these items, including an AK X-ray in minimum wear condition, four knives, some really high tier stat track play skins for a stat track current with slaughter. You see on the trade I still get around 2k in balance on the side and I quietly know what percentage I can get out on the side normally. I have no problem with depositing the money onto that side. So we're going to withdraw the Karambit and then see what other deals we can find. And this side, quite frankly, was close to scamming me. <laughs> I mean, it was no scam in the end, the side is totally fine, but I saw that there was a battle scarred gold arabesque with souvenir stickers. And with all the calculations I've done, my brain was a little bit mad, so I thought it was a souvenir. <laughs> And I already sent the offer for the item actually, then I saw that it wasn't a souvenir, of course, because you see the yellow border and the price. So thank god I realized that and didn't take the offer because the souvenir one is around $200 more. So I went further and see what deals I could find. And I didn't took too long where I found another item which was priced really well on the side. A Statrek Battle Scarred Skeleton Knife Crimson Web with a quite comparable good float. So I traded for that and I also got a Huntsman Freehand and a USB target acquired. I still have some balance left on the side. I would just uh, look into the side once every day and see when a good deal pops up. Then I went to the next trading site where I saw that many of my items were priced really well. And we traded to the site an M4 Imminent Danger, a Star Trek Paracord Fade, a Navaja Knife Doppler and some other cool play skins. And for that, we got a bayonet fade with a really high fade percentage, but unfortunately it's minimal wear. But still a really cool item. And I was really lucky, I went to the site and for the item it was priced really well and they had 7 of these items on the site. So let's just say I can call myself the proud owner of 7 driver gloves Luna Weave, which are liquid and very cool gloves. At last I got a Statric gut knife black laminate from the site. And that was everything I could get for the value I put there. In total, that summed up to around $80 of profit. While I was getting the items from the site, Abe sent me an offer for my Felcher knife freehand. And he offered his Osus Damascus deal and a pin. And it was an okay deal, we got around $2 of profit and changed liquid knife for a liquid knife and a pin. So it is already 4 p.m. And actually a guy with which I trade with regularly, MJW, sold me two of his high tier skins. It was a Huntsman Sapphire, one of my favorite knives, and a well-worn Medusa. We agreed on a price and I bought these, of course, with a little bit of profit. Then I went to GamerPay, a cash market where you can still get 4 euros totally for free if you just sign up via my referral link below and buy or sell items worth 10 euro. But still, that's around 40% just free. Why wouldn't you do that? Click the link now. And I found there another M9 Bayonet freehand with a good float for around 90% buff price, making me around $24 of profit. So it's 10 in the evening, so we are around 12 hours in. And as you can see here in my trade history, we did some deals already. We did a freehand deal, we did the big trading deal on a trading site and we got a lot of items from the two. We did the second deal on the big trading site our fashion freehand and we had these three cash deals. So in total a lot of big deals. So until now we are doing pretty good. And as you can see here, <laughs> oh we got two new offers. As you can see here I sent out some offers. So when we wake up tomorrow we will have a lot of counter offers and hopefully some offers that got accepted. But for now, we're going through these two Ds. This is pretty low and these are just slow items. So we will send him a counter, same with this guy. And yeah, we will see how it goes. So it is shortly before 10 o'clock in the morning and we were able to make good deals this morning. But unfortunately, <laughs> pretty much all the offers we sent out yesterday weren't successful. So that's pretty unlucky counting the many hours I put in sending these offers. But yeah, 
that's the thing with trading. Sometimes you don't really put in much effort and it works. And sometimes you put in a lot of effort and it just won't click. So yeah, these were the 24 hours of trading. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's start with calculating how much profit we've made. The last 24 hours were not lucky when it came to most of us, but we did pretty good on the deals we were able to complete. So let's see how much we approximately made on these trades. First one, the Statrek M9 Bayonet Freehand for our flip knife Doppler. That was an upgrade for a low float Statrek knife, so we definitely lost some liquidity there. But only value wise, we made around $13 of profit. Next up is the first big trade on a trading site. Trading all of these items. Many items. And nearly got scammed too. But for a StatTrack Karambit Slaughter, StatTrack Skeleton Knife Crimson Web, the USB target acquired and the two Huntsmen we have until now, that was pretty much worth it. And we still have around $55 balance on the side, which we will spend in the following days when maybe another good deal pops up. But we lost a bit because these items are on trade lock of course and we can't trade them for 15 days that are locked on the side. But in total that summed up, not including the profit we will possibly make in the future with the balance we have on the side, to around $50. Then we have the other deal on the other trading side. And I'm really glad to get rid of many of these items. For example, the X-Ray we lost on the first side or the Imminent Danger are really cool skins, but are really hard to trade. Because these are very hard to trade at the moment because people just don't know where these are going. But forget, we got an even worse to trade item possibly. A Bayonet Fade with a very good Fade percentage, but it is minimal wear. So we will see how long it will take to get rid of that. And of course, we got other items too. For example, seven pair of the same gloves. And of course, a stat track gut knife black laminate in well worn. So also possibly the worst you can get in terms of liquidity. But in value wise, we still made around $80 of profit, which is pretty good, but we'll see how fast we can get rid of these items. Then there was Ape. And Ape has the smallest trade of the day, summing up to around $2 of profit. And then we ended with our five big cash trades, including a Huntsman Sapphire and Orb Medusa, another M9 Freehand, a 0.07 Karambit Doppler and the Star Trek Shadow Daggers Tiger Tooth. So in the end, very big deals and in total these were worth over 3k, which summed up before fees to around $300 of profit. Means we are ending this 24 hours with a staggering. Da, 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 da. No, don't worry, I won't do that again. $495 of profit. Of course, this number sounds ridiculous, but we have to note here that we have to wait at least seven days to trade it again. So of course we couldn't do that every day. And with the Huntsman, we have to wait at least 15 days before we can trade them again. So yeah. I think that sums up this experiment very good. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to join the giveaway my boys. I am Neon and I'll see you guys in the next one.